And we have a special guest. Larsa Pippen is here. Hi, guys. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you for having me. You know, we were just talking about the weather in New York. You were saying that you're, um, you were excited to come, but then it got a little I, snowy. I don't mind the cold. I don't even mind the snow. I just don't like it when it, like, like it's super wet. And it's, like, slushy and slippery. Mm-hmm. I hate that feeling. Yeah, we actually walked, we like, walked 20 years. <laughs> It, it was just my idea, idea. Too. It I was feel my like idea. it just destroys yeah. like nice shoes. You know what I mean? Well, yeah, it does. They, it does, and then also like whatever hair situation oh, yeah. you have going it's on. It's over. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's yeah. a wrap. Done. Now let's talk about what you have going on. Your jewelry that you have on is this your own? Yes, this okay, is one good. of my things that I have from Larsa Marie Jewelry. Mm-hmm. I I started creating jewelry like a long time ago. I feel like a lot of people don't know that. I always gave all my friends jewelry. I always designed my own jewelry. When I was like maybe like five, my dad started giving me jewelry. And mm. so I always collected everything. And I remember like exactly when and what occasion it was when my dad gave me stuff. So I feel like it's like a memorable thing. When you give someone jewelry, it's like special. And so yeah. that's kind of why I wanted to create my own line. Do you still have your pieces from your dad? Some of your pieces from your dad? I have everything my dad's ever given me. Really? Yeah. Okay. And so all of those are yours. Huh? Everything you're wearing is yes. yours. This and these. That's okay. nice. And you got a triple yeah. piercing? Yeah. Okay. Mano loves to give jewelry as gifts. Sometimes, yes, I do. <laughs> I'm a good guy. Now, let me ask you this. As a question, if somebody gave you something and you didn't like it, should you be honest and tell them, I don't like it, and you know, maybe get something else, or should you just grin and just take it and wear it? I kind of feel like it depends who's giving it to you. Okay, that's fair. Because mm. I feel like if it's like a guy, then the guy, a guy that you care for, I feel like you should take it and wear it, even though you don't like it. Mm-hmm. Just because you wouldn't want to make him feel like he can't buy you anything else or hurt his feelings, I feel like you would take it. But if it was like a girlfriend, then I'd be like, I love it, but it's just not me. Do you care if I return it? What if it was an it? engagement ring? Um, no, no, we'd have <laughs> wow. to have a conversation. Yeah, because about you it. I gotta to love it. <laughs> if I'm wearing it like every day, I have to love it. Yeah, that's yeah. true. What's your favorite piece? Um, I feel like I love my necklaces because they're like layerable and mm-hmm. really cute. Now, you're on Real Housewives of Miami. You were on the first season, mm-hmm. but then you left, right? What made you decide, okay, I actually will come back and rejoin the cast? Um, I feel like when I was on, it was 12 years ago, I was like married. My kids were really young. It was hard and it was challenging because my ex didn't really want me to be on the show. Mm-hmm. So um, fast forward, I came back to the show because my kids are older. I feel like I'm in Miami. I figured why not just do the show? What's been the biggest difference from the first time you were on to present day being on the show? What's the, been the, your, the biggest difference in terms of your experience? Um, I feel like when I was on the show before, I was really like a housewife. Yes. And this time around, I feel like I'm like independent. I like working. I like making my own money. I want to be, you know, in charge of my own destiny. I feel like and now I'm in that vessel where I get to make my own decisions. I was married at like 21 years old. So mm-hmm. I feel like I really That's didn't have dumb. control it over is. like anything. You right. know, I was like still in college when I met Scotty. So it was like my whole life is different now than it was then. I'm kind of living my 20s again. Mm. <laughs> hey, great. You were having a good time. I Mana, am. before you came in, he was like, what I like about her is that she really don't give a F what people think. Right. I like that about you, that you your level of not caring is it's different top. because you got to understand. <laughs> it's top tier. It's top tier because it takes a lot to not care about what other people think, right? Because a lot of times we, we do we do things and and, and, and we, it's reflected through the eyes of others. So mm-hmm. like you, you live in your life in, in a way where people talk a lot, but it, it doesn't seem like you ever phased. No, because I feel like I'm a good person. At the end of the day, I always do the right thing. You know, as long as my family is good, my parents, my kids are good. We're all like doing well. We're all happy. That's all that matters to me. I feel like people are always going to hate when you're doing the right thing. I've always done the right thing and people have hated on me. That's right. And I feel like people never wanted to see me win. You know, Mm. I feel like when I left my ex, a lot of times people want to see you, you know, they can't imagine you without that person. So you're automatically, automatically at a negative. Right. They're like, oh, I hope she doesn't get this. I hope she doesn't get that. And every time I've had obstacles, I feel like God keeps like blessing me. You know what? Sometimes I think as women, too, people also assume that and especially being married to somebody like Scottie Pippen, they assume that you have what you have because of him and that outside of that, you don't have anything. But right. you've always done your own thing and been an entrepreneur. I saw your new condo that you got. I saw the am- photos. Yeah, it Thank looks you. amazing. It's got to come over. But I think people need to understand that, too, that just because you're married to somebody that may have been who they are, that doesn't mean you don't have anything going on. No, totally. I feel like, I, you know, I used to manage his whole life. Mm-hmm. So it wasn't like I was just sitting there, you know, going shopping every day, doing my nails. Like I managed this whole life. I have four amazing kids that I raise. Like, you know, a lot of people take things and, and they just see them, like you said, like 
from right. the lens of their own experiences. Right. I see everything in a positive light. I Indeed. see you can tell me the craziest story. A person did this. I'm like, good people make bad decisions. No judgment. So let me That's ask you. That's how I think. Do you feel like, you know, like you still live in the shadow of your other relationship, even in your new relationship? Like every time you turn around, it's like, you know, Scotty's ex or Scotty's ex-wife. I feel like I've kind of like made my own lane, to be honest with you. Mm -hmm. I'm kind of like in a different place now. And it probably is because of Housewives. You know, I'm like, I've kind of branched off because I feel like I was really like in like the basketball world. And now I'm kind of in a different, you know, lane. Mm -hmm. Because I'll say for me, I didn't know who you were until you were no longer with him. Like I didn't, like I heard your name, Larsa. I'm like, oh, who's that? And I, I feel like that's because you are on your own, you're independent, so... Now, I was dead wrong, uh, and I want to say Marcus Jordan is here, too. And I love Marcus. All right, I, I <laughs> Marcus, we, Marcus, we want you to talk sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, no. <laughs> but I actually know I went to the grand opening for his store, Trophy Room in Orlando. I think, you know, Marcus is amazing. Like, And when you guys first started dating, I don't know if you were dating or not yet, but when you were pictured together, I was on The Breakfast Club. And I was like, no, they're just out eating. Like, they know each other. <laughs> but we friends. were. Yeah, okay. We so were that's dating. what I wanted to clarify. Yeah. We really weren't dating. We actually met at a party four years ago. And I feel like a lot of people want to like spin things like, oh, they've known each other their whole life. And I'm like, by the way, we did not. I just <laughs> met him four years ago. Mm. You know, when, when his dad and Scotty played together, like his, they were like not together. His mom and dad were not together. I was in college. Like it, we missed each other. You know, mm-hmm. we missed that little era. So it's like we were friends. We met four years ago. We, we were friends. We have mutual friends. So we were like in the same group, like a lot. And it's funny because I was trying to set him up with all my friends. Uh, Wait a minute. Really? What? Marcus had like, his own goal. Literally. literally. Yeah. And like, he was like, nah, I don't want yeah. them. I want you. Wait I a minute. Was like, I was literally like telling all my friends in Miami. I'm like, you got you to gotta make like, you know, make time to meet him. He's so cute. <laughs> Did like, he ever go any on any dates with any of your friends? No. <laughs> Good <laughs> job. He was doing. No, but Good I literally job. was like, I would hype him up to all my friends. I'm like, he's a great guy. You should date him. You guys, he's coming to town. He's coming to Miami. You guys should hang he out. He probably was making up excuses. Guys are and... so sneaky. Yeah. Yeah. Marcus, was this your goal, like in your head? No, there was no goal. <laughs> <laughs> we're, like, we're like best friends. We, it, we really are. We just have fun together. Oh, I feel like good. we have that's a lot dope. of like similarities. You know, we're both from Chicago. We both love basketball. We both love business stuff. We're both very, very family oriented. I feel mm-hmm. like it's like we have a lot of similar things you know like upbringings so when did things shift when was it like well forget my friends and how did you know <laughs> like oh wait a minute we honestly were hanging out as friends and then like the more and more we spent time together it was just like inevitable sparks like, was mm-hmm. flying i know yeah, but, it, but it that's wasn't... the best thing when you start off as friends though i'm gonna be honest i always feel like in relationships y'all should be friends first before mm-hmm. anything and i feel like that really sets the foundation no, it really does. And it's I'm like lucky I get to hang out with my best friend. Because oh. I know yeah. on Real Housewives, they were trying to act like you weren't being honest. But, you know, but that's yeah. the thing. You know what? I think like a lot of times publicly people think that there's like more to the story. Mm-hmm. Well, because sometimes there is. But like in this case, there wasn't. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, really? We're just friends. We're just like friends. We're just hanging out. And like we lived in two different states. So it wasn't like... You know what I mean? It wasn't like we were together all the time. But when they would see us together, they would always be like, oh, they're together. I'm like, by the way, that's not what it was. Right. Until they saw that kissing photo and they're like, okay, (laughs) here we go. They're not just friends anymore. (laughs) I mean, everything happens for a reason, I guess. Yeah. Do you think you're going to rejoin for another season? I think so. Mm -hmm. I think it's been a good it's been a good experience for me, you know, hanging out with like strong women. I like the camaraderie. Um, I live in Miami. It's like perfect. Mm -hmm. What's the toughest part about being on the show? Um, Maybe. I don't know. It's a lot of cat fights. Mm-hmm. I'm not really a fighter. Okay. I feel like I don't like to start the drama, but I'm from Chicago. Like, if you start it, I'll finish it type thing. Mm-hmm. Okay. okay. But, I don't, want, but <laughs> I don't want to be that person. But sometimes it's like you're forced to be that person. You know what I mean? Yeah. I don't want to be that person. But they started calling me like the larcenist. The larcenist. Because I just like, you Set know, a fire. you start yeah. fires? No, they did I, say you exaggerate. Right? Fire I don't. But I don't. I just feel like if you say one bad thing about me, I will say two bad things about you. That's oh, she'll double works. it up. Yeah, okay. got it. I, like I mean, I just feel like isn't that what isn't that what normal people do? Like, don't talk about me. And <laughs> I always talk about you. Yeah, I love that. I love the larcenist. That's kind of you gotta do you something with that name. That. Yeah, she gotta do something you with that. Do, yeah. That's kind of like been my nickname. I don't know. <laughs> I feel that. like that. Could I'm be like something. a lover though. I'm like I'm not even like that. Do you feel like you're misunderstood on the show, or do you feel like it's pretty accurate what we see on the show? Well, I feel like, you know, when you're put in a situation where, like, some people bring out the best in you and some people don't bring out the best in you. Okay. So sometimes some people bring out the best in me and sometimes they don't bring out the best in me. So you get to, you know, we're all all layered. There's a lot of different layers to us. I feel like. (laughs) She's like, yeah, that's fun. But is Marcus going to be on the new season? 
Um, I don't know, Marcus. You're gonna be on a new season. Yes sir. Yes sir. No, Marcus. <laughs> you're working on it. It sounds like perhaps. Oh, that is so sweet. What a nice. What guy. is our best friend? Good guy. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good guy. So, but look, it is. It was, I guess, somewhat controversial just because of the history between you know Scotty and and Michael Jordan. So, mm-hmm. what was that like for you? Did you have some hesitation at all, thinking like, man, this is gonna be like a thing? Yeah. I think we both kind of did, to be honest with you. Like, it wasn't something like, it's weird because like, there's like a billion, you know, how many billions of people? Like six billion people in the world, right? Like, what are the chances that, right, right. (laughs) Right. But I just feel like you fall, it's like falling into a hole. You don't really see it sometimes. You just kind of fall into it. Mm -hmm. Okay. And how is it with the families now? Like with the kids, everybody's good. Everybody's good, yeah. Okay. I feel like everyone's good. You know, I think people at the end of the day want to see you happy. You know, I feel like I want to be happy. He wants to be happy. Our families want to see us happy. And if, if you're with someone that makes you happy and brings out the best of you, then like, why not? Mm -hmm. Now, other business ventures that you have going on, let us know, because I want people to know, Larsa Pippen, you have the jewelry. You also obviously are in Real Housewives of Miami, but what else do you have going on? I've like invested in a lot of tech companies. So that's Mm. like my thing too. So I invested in like Tonal. Mm -hmm. You're familiar with Tonal? Oh yeah, the workout. That's the workout thing. I love that. I tried that actually. Tonal? Tonal? Yeah, it's like like an amazing workout. It's digital training and it's like, you can get a full body workout. I love it so much. I do it every single day. And It's really hard too, by the way. Like when you put the weight on, you don't feel like it's you look at it it doesn't look like it's going to be anything but the resistance so i thought it was on the phone like i thought it was no it's it's an actual it's an equipment you hang on your Mm -hmm. wall it's like a painting oh it's like a mirror thing right yeah but it has poles and like weights it's digital like weight training okay it's it's really cool and then i've invested in like a a company called halo it's a dog collar company um it keeps track of your dog it has an invisible fence so like if you wanted your dog to play in the backyard it's really expensive to put an invisible fence in your backyard, but mm-hmm. this is like easy. You just set up borders and your dog won't leave the area. Come How on. do you decide what you want to invest in? I only want to do things that I'm passionate about. You know, I love dogs. I have two dogs. I love jewelry. Mm-hmm. I love drama. So I'm on Housewives. <laughs> <laughs> so it all, it all just makes sense for me. It's things that I love and I want to do and I'm passionate about. And what do you do for yourself when it's when you, for yourself when it's time to kind of like wind down? Because I also know for a fact that it isn't easy sometimes to have people like talking shit about you and going on social media and now this person saying that and it's not true. Sometimes it can get a little overbearing as much as we want to say we're strong and it doesn't bother me and I signed up for this so it is what it is. But at times, it could be the wrong day, right? What do you do I mean, for yourself? You know, I feel like I just surround myself with, like, positive people. We're all human. We all want to be happy. We all want to be successful. Like, I just want to be around people that, like, empower me and I empower. I don't want to be around people that are just, like, negative, talking shit about other people. Like, I'm not I don't, right. I'm not a part of that community. You know what I mean? I never have been. That's probably why I don't really care what other people think. Mm-hmm. What about, your, like, your kids, like your son? Because, you know, it, they do have social media. Mm-hmm. And they are seeing stories. So how does that dynamic, you know, when when you speak to him about stories that they run in about you, about, you know, your relationships or whatever, how does that how does that work? You know, we're really close. My kids and I are like best friends. So we kind of talk about everything. We discuss everything. They're part of everything with me. So before anything comes out, they already know the real story. They already know the real thing. So we kind of laugh about it while we're having dinner, while we're like baking cupcakes. You know, we talk about everything. And I feel like my kids are really well grounded. They're like really good kids. They're focused on sports and school. And, you know, that's basically it. Mm -hmm. Are you open to having more kids? I mean, I don't know. Okay. (laughs) She's like, damn. uh." (laughs) I don't know. I feel like I'm, you know, I have four kids. They're great. They're all smart. They're all cute. They are are cute. They are. Yeah, we were looking at them. Kids are good looking. She's so sweet. And they're like such good kids. I'm so proud of them. Marcus, I saw a story about you uh, maybe going back to play basketball again. <laughs> no, nah, there's no truth to that. Okay, I'm you saw that, right? <laughs> there's a lot of stories. Here. I feel like there's so many stories. I don't even know, like... What's the craziest story you've seen about... Well, they're saying we're having a baby. I'm like, we are? Oh, I Jasmine didn't... just started that no, just listen, now. I no, listen. No, that's been, on, that's been online. That's no, I just online. asked that because I know women sometimes want to continue to have children. Mm-hmm. Like, when they, you know, so... I, I don't know. I feel like I, I just read that. We just read that. And we were like... Yeah, so was, that's it, false. was it on the Jasmine brand? It was not. The Jasmine. I don't think. Well, I don't think it was. I don't think it was. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Well, is there anything that you want to say that you want people to know about you that maybe they don't know? Because I think this is a good opportunity for you to say, okay. So I just want to put it out there, Larsa Pippen. Um, you know, I am. I feel like I'm. I'm happy. I'm independent. I feel good. You know, I feel like my kids are in a great place. 
and I, I you know, I'm, I'm doing everything every other person wants to do. I just feel like sometimes I get judged because, you know, our age difference, if he was 16 years older, like we wouldn't be having conversations like sometimes about the age thing. Or if I wasn't married to someone famous, like I wouldn't, you know, I feel like I'm a person. I mm-hmm. want to live my life. I want to be happy. And that's kind of what I'm doing, you know. Yeah, you definitely are. I am. And looking good doing it, too. I know, right? I saw everybody on the show talking about your butt. They were like, oh, my God, she has the most perfect. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> that was the one compliment they gave me. I, I had 10 other haters on that show. How do I get your butt? <laughs> um, I, I'll get you a tonal. Okay. I knew she was okay. going to say that. Yeah, I'll okay. get you a tonal. Okay. Get to do those squats on tonal. Yeah. That's yeah. a great workout. Well, thank you so much for joining us. Marcus, Thank always good to see us. you, too. Next time, we'll have Marcus talk a little bit more. Marcus actually has been on The Breakfast Club, but I, and I always am like, Marcus, you got to come do some, an interview. He was like, I'm going to do it when I have something that I want to. Exactly. But he always has stuff going on. Mm-hmm. He's just low-key. Or you got to come back. I keep it low-key. Yeah. Family, you know how my family is. We're private. Low-key. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Look at, not Mayno. <laughs> <laughs> I'm low-key. Okay. Sure, Mayno. You like a low-key guy, though, right? That's a good he balance. Is. Yes. Because you have to be out there. You're more public. Public, and then I think that's a good like I'm gonna just mind my business and I mean because they're gonna talk anyway because mm-hmm. they, they, it's her right so sometimes when people write things too you be more concerned about the people who care about you when they see it they get mad oh no I my friends want to fight every day <laughs> like literally <laughs> like they're always like oh my god I wish I was there oh my god I'm like I know I don't like I'm kind of like very present mm-hmm. so whatever I do I'm kind of present so like right here when I'm with you I'm like very like absorbing all your like energy and stuff but when i leave i'm never going to talk about this again okay oh i wish i could live like that yeah i don't really like that's the, i don't give a f-ness yeah, that's yeah what but that's say. like right. the best vibe because i feel like right. even like relationships i've had in the past like people will be like oh do you have those pictures i'm like i deleted them like oh it was fun while it lasted cool. but once yeah, i move on it's like a whole it. new you know a whole new day how did you get like that i don't know i'm just really happy <laughs> No, I just no, I mean, like just I don't as really... far as even deleting stuff and I'll just, just I delete everything. I'll delete like text messages like once I'm done with someone, I'm like, it was fun, it was a chapter in my life and I'm gonna move on. So we need fun. evidence. <laughs> no, because what, what do you need it for you? Then you just want to keep like, going back to no, it. Yeah, you're right. Like, we need I don't want to keep that energy. I don't care what you know. I feel like well, I don't need proof. I, know. Right, I live on my stuff. truth. So everybody okay. else, they go back to a zero. It's like they diminish. Yeah, that didn't happen. Just gone. I leave it in like good terms. Like I enjoyed my time. It was an experience. I learned from you, and yeah, it's great. Wow, that is. I need to start taking lessons from her. I know you're gonna do. You should I don't, cor- I, a course, a course on this. Yeah, I need a course. I, I don't how need to not on give good terms. And how to be an arsonist? Yeah, a larceny. 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 Yeah. Yeah. larcenist. But honestly, like I'm not even like that because my vibe, literally, like I said, I'm very present when I leave. I don't really talk about anybody. Right. I've never said anything bad about anybody. If you think about it. Like, I don't really talk well, about it. Well, you do if they say something about you. You say something Right, but, but I'll say it to their times, face. But, yeah, okay. I won't say it behind their back. I'm very present. So if you say something to me, I'm going to say it. I'm, a pre- I'm, I'm very present. One of the things the show was Nicole was mad that you said that she slept at the whole hospital. And then you did apologize. Well, a lot of people said that on the show. It wasn't just me, by the way. <laughs> we probably liked it better when you said it. <laughs> I'm a larcenist, so probably. Yes. Larcenist. But... Oh, my God. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so much again for coming to join thank us. It was guys. a pleasure to meet you. so fun. Yeah. I feel like I need to do this. We'll again. have drinks we, next time. Yes. We, I mean, we could have had him today, we but I know she's got good. a lot going on. I got to do Andy's show tonight. Okay, yeah. Oh, you'll be drinking on there. Yeah, for sure. We'll be watching. <laughs> and if you have anybody from Maino, you know. Yeah, yeah. Cause you wanted to hook. There's a lot of Why don't you just, all the people I'm... that you were trying to put on, Marcus, why don't you just. Yeah, and I'm low key. Well, yeah, right. well you're not low key, though, so. <laughs> Even yeah. Marcus laughed at that. Yeah. <laughs> Larsa, like, I ain't, like... Larsa, like, I ain't you're, put my you're friends with him. more of a liability. Ooh, like, I don't know. Wow. I don't know you like that. I'm just the saying, like, you might be accurate. You might no, be right. I just, no, no, because I feel right. like, I, feel, I don't know you personally, but wow. I just feel like you might be a little more high risk. Really? Wow. There's like, right. there's like a one to 10 risk factor. And, and I'm I feel like, like, what? He's a high risk investor. Not high, high, but like, you're what, just what, like, six, what number? Six, seven. Yeah, you're a type six but and a half. But with a high risk comes a great reward. Right? Exactly. No, because you just need the right person to make you your best version right. of you. That's all you need is the I right mean, person. I mean, something that looks high risk to one may not be a to risk another. at all. To no, right. right. Oh, right. Goodness. So, you know, and then you, we know a lot about perception because the way people perceive things may not always be what it really is. People perceive you to be one way and may, it may not be, right? Oh, God, right. Maynard. Right. Gift of gab. Yeah. Yeah. You know, right. turn this whole thing around. No, you're right. <laughs> but I do feel like this. I feel like people should know what they sign up for. So, for instance, for me, yes. like before I dive into the pool, I need right. to know the temperature, how deep it is, and if I can swim in it. Right. Okay. I'm not trying to dive into a pool that I don't know, you know, what the risk factors are. This will be at her course that she's teaching as well. Right. right. So that's a no for hooking him up with one of your friends. <laughs> it's a no, no for me, dog. No, I just, I, no. I have to it's find. It's a no I, for me, dog. No, I have to find. I have to See, find. They was already friends. <laughs> they was already friends. 
and it, just it was met easy. four years before that. Then. Right, but it was it was easy for her to present him because it was like he was a You're good right. dude. She don't know me. Yeah. And it was like, She'll I can't even vouch of the for him. Yeah. I can't right. vouch for this okay. guy. But you can say that. You can say, I can't, I can't vouch, vouch for this him. Guy. Right. She I, said, it's a no for me, dog. It's a no for <laughs> no, me, No, I didn't say it like that. So I just I said, I, I don't know. I just feel like sometimes, like, you have to, I feel like for no, you. You said I was high risk, though. No, only because Six, I feel like you need, because you've never been married, right? Yeah. Oh, you have? Okay, yeah. I didn't know. Five times. Like, he's lying. Oh. You're already lying. I'm saying, like, I think, like, you're going to need a specific woman that comes in and just, like, knocks you out. Like, you're just obsessed she, with her. Right and then there. that'll be the woman that you're going to be with. Like, okay. it needs to be someone strong. It's got her stuff together where she just, like, comes in and takes over. Indeed. And then you're just, like, sprung. And you're, he like, has someone in mind. Let's leave that alone. Wait, I'm let's, not going to say it. Oh, well, you can tell me alone. later. No, yeah, we'll tell her after. Let's leave it, alone. it still felt like a no. But, um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was a no, definitely. <laughs> it's still it's felt a no like for me, yeah, dog. Yeah. It was a nice no. It's a no for me, dog. <laughs> but thank you so much again. You, and guys. we'll be um, watching and keeping up with you. We're glad that you're coming back for the next season, too. Thank you. Thank and that guys. Marcus will be on there with you as well. You I will. cannot wait to see him open up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> He's going to talk. So cute. All right, way up. 